Hello guys, and this is your little brilliant, uh, and I am at home. Not at brilliant massage and skincare, but I wanted to make this video how you can massage your uh, family uh, better. So what, or how to do it at home. Uh, so working from home from computer, you might get sore shoulders and lower back and everything. So you'll need oil. You'll need to get your rings off, necklace for your, well, uh, wouldn't, shouldn't, not a client, but uh, make sure whoever you're giving this treatment to, uh, make sure they're not sick at the time that you're working with them. Uh, they don't have um, any serious medical conditions uh, and make sure that you're not going to be um, pressing on the back of the knees directly on the neck and um, like elbows, joints and soft areas like that and not directly on the bone, so we want to work just with the muscles, okay? And don't work on them if they have any blood clotting issues, high blood, you know, blood, bloodish, blood circulation, blood, high, low blood pressure, I'll leave that to professionals, or if they have, um, we have recent surgeries, injuries, if they uh, have fever or, you know, like I said, any sort of medical conditions. If they're healthy, uh, you're safe to work with them within common sense, not pressing on those areas I mentioned. So we'll start from the back and uh, Really, if you have some knowledge of muscles already, it's always helpful. But if you don't, um, you could look that up online. Now, you want to grab maybe a pillow. Now, not everyone has a massage table at home. Can you lift your ankles? This alleviates their lower back. Usually, we have bolster here in the office, but obviously, we're not in the office. <clears throat> but... Um, you can do this on the bed, so I would pick the side of the bed, you know, and then you could flip them and work on their other side. Um, and usually, you know, in the office we have bolsters, but because this is home video, I'm not going to be using the bolster. And my almond oil, apricot, kernel seed oil works really well. And then make sure you cover them in a blanket so they're not... Hmm, this one smells nice too. More aromatherapy. So um, the basic move is using your palms. This doesn't need much pressure. Now, if you have very low or very high bed, this might not work. But you could also kneel and use pillows if you have very low bed. I'm very high bed. I guess you need to be a tall person or maybe use a stool. But you want it to be able to use leverage so you're not hurting yourself, your back. And then you want to be like a warrior pose too. Let's say when you're working using your elbows. So you're not doing this because that's going to hurt your own back. And uh, so you want to have enough glide so it doesn't like pinch their skin. Now there's like fascia techniques where very little emollient is used, but that's advanced technique. So for home purpose, we want to have enough lubrication there for them. Um, then we go like on both sides. We're not going on the side. But we're working these paraspinal muscles around the spine. And you can work here in the lats. And you know, repeat this as many times as you like. 
And I recommend focusing on your clients. Um, don't watch TV while you do this because you're not going to be paying attention. You can listen to audiobook or, you know, especially if you can when you get more experience or music. But definitely I would shut on the TV so I'd rather put like a relaxing music on. Um, and check in with them, you know, how are you doing? How is your pressure? Is there anything that they feel is uncomfortable for them? So, palm up flourage, this is the basic move that easily most people can do. Um, and then we all want to target the muscle bellies, you know. So, the other technique is you can use the top of your fingers. Or you can kind of do some rolling like this. Especially if they have like a knot. You might find it and they might say, oh, it tickles or like they start to squirm a little bit. That might be a knot. So you can work it like this. Also, as long as you want, you can, this table is actually a little too high for me, but I don't usually work with this table. We have hydraulic tables in the office. So, but um, I feel like I need to be taller for this table. So I'm just going to use my toes. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, one of techniques that you can uh, look around for those knots and if you find something, you know, just work a little longer there until it loosens up. Now the other technique is if they're a tough cookie, you can use their your elbow and so the more bone you use, the more intense it's going to feel for them. The more surface you use, the whole, the softer part of your, um, you know, forearm you use, the lighter, better, softer would be. Not better, but, you know, easier on them. But if they want, like, ask you deeper, then you could use more of this part. And uh, not on the bone, again. Remember that we're doing this on the soft parts. Now you could put this in a good area as well. They complain of lower back pain. That will um, loosen those glute muscles up and those locked lower back pain. Lower muscles that cause lower back pain. They're connected glutes, lower back muscles, QL all connected and then you know so us but that's more advanced but yeah you can do this you know and you can use a tennis ball on yourself too if they don't want to massage you or tell them to do that if they have tight glutes so you know you can just kind of lean in like this you can also use your thumbs like that as well in the glutes there lower back now you could put their arm if they have enough flexibility like so and oh, I'm reaching for my oil I don't have my oil blade falser but this helps to kind of work the traps better right here. So you could kind of do this. Hope you see that. But yeah, so, um, and then you could also do this. This chance just kind of stretches the traps better. And use this as well. And you know you would do the other side. Now you could follow with this video along if you want. I'll try to keep it slow here. I've been keeping it slow. So if you do want to 
follow along. That's why I'm doing both sides. Put this one. They like have the computer like this. You don't have stand-up computer at home, or your screen is low looking now. That's what I've been suffering too. I'm watching it with phone too much on the computer like this past week because we had to close because of the virus in the state. Um, so yeah, definitely feeling the results of this for past week. So, I agree to get standing this, but we'll see. And then for the next, so like I mentioned, we don't put direct pressure on the neck or like the spine here, spine process, but we can kind of need like this trap region here, kind of like a dough. And then a little bit on the neck here, but don't go too hard, check in with them. As a beginner is in doubt, better go lighter than too much, they'll be sore, you might hurt them. Maybe second time around, you can go a little harder, even if they tell you go harder, they might not know how actually sore they might get from it. Harder doesn't mean better. Not at least when you're not a professional. Now leave that to professionals when we're open back up. Um, now you can kind of do work like this on the lats. Bed kneading, you know, works here on other areas too. Really, this is the basics, you know, for the back. And now we can move towards the legs. We'll cover it up so it's not too cold. Now we're going to uncover the leg, tuck it in there, make sure they're all secure here, and we'll put the oil, and we're going to work the calves, and the fabric there. So you see I'm using my palms and I'm not putting pressure here but um, often people that are runners they have tight caps so you can kind of use your thumbs here on the outside and then in the middle between soleus and gastric pneumius people have tension and uh, your hamstrings and my T-band. Now we can do a little stretch for claws there. Do a stretch. Check in with them to have knee problems. Be aware of that. You may not want to stretch it. It's a little small here. But um, You can use the stump action here too. Now you took, now point your fingers towards away from the crotch, obviously, because you don't want to end up, you know, that way. Just something to keep in mind, especially as a beginner. Don't want that accident. Um, then you can work this. Tibia here too from this side. You can go work on the foot with your thumbs. You can use elbow too. You can spend as long as you want. Really, you can pause the video, repeat the sequence again. Work on the other leg. Now you could also come back, work on the glutes here, and do this action a little bit. Helps to loosen the glutes better. So 
So let's repeat with the other leg. We can follow along. I feel like I need another pillow for another foot. Now if you want to create even more relaxing atmosphere, you can light some candles, have some scents, have some spa music, we'll put them to sleep. Okay, now we're going to probably guys who won't see that much there, but and I'm afflaraging up and I'm putting pressure on the cap but I'm lifting above the knee and then I'm putting pressure again on the hamstrings there. You can use that pump action like that. knees and stretch. Hold it for a couple minutes, let go, stretch again, again, loosen up the glutes. If their muscle is trying to escape you, it's a sign it could be tight. You can also put pressure here on hamstrings, sports stretch. And work there to be there a little bit and the foot. Maybe you could finish up with full body compressions. Kind of rock in motion a little bit. We'll ask them to turn face up. So now that they flipped face up, we put pillows under their knee. Now we're gonna work their quads. Color their quad. Also, the same afflarage, kind of like we did the hamstrings. Hope you guys enjoyed this mini video play us. Please let me know any questions in the comments down below. Now, I'm not working on the bones, but there's this tibia muscle here that we can work too. And then the foot. You can kind of move the foot like this. So you can wiggle their toes. Just keep the pressure because there might be ticklish. Then you can use your forearm too if you need to apply more pressure. In the office, I actually have Bashiatsu bars where I can use my feet pressure for more pressure, but that's for professionals only. But elbow you can definitely utilize. Okay. Shake off a little bit. That sometimes feels good. Stretch. Low traction. Then we can repeat with the other leg. Okay. Put on one. The same aquarage, and then you can also use the pumps too. 
Wanna pick a nose that he's just to not overuse them too much so he won't fall if they start hurting. We can slow it down on that. Work the foot. Like you're needing it though. And wiggle the little toes. Just that tickles. Yeah. And then you can also work around the knee. I didn't do this on the other leg, I just remember. Nice people can be ticklish now. Yeah. Then you can knead also like this on the these big muscles here as well. You can use the elbow. They type a lot, they will appreciate this. Forearms work. Remember, you have to maintain good posture. Okay, we'll take your arm. And we can use that thumb action again. Pressure. I'm just kind of squeezing the finger one after the other. Sometimes they crack. I'm not trying to crack them though. But then between these two bones, it's really nice between radius and ulna. And then if they have tennis elbow, this is really nice to massage or go for elbow. Do a little stretch like that. Do a little palm action here. Again, using my thumbs. Then you can do a little stretch, assuming they're flexible enough to do it. Then you could also use your elbow here too. You see, I'm probably using three basic techniques here in this video. Affleurage, petrissage, and some elbow action here. It's neat and easy for you. Let's repeat with the other hand. I'm sure you guys can see this very well, but just repeat what I'm saying. So we're doing our and for Raj. Okay, we're now gonna work in between these radius and ulna here and doing petrissage. And remember, don't do this. You straight back, but use your knees to lower yourself. Just like lifting. Like you're doing squats. Then doing this upper palm. Now I'm gonna kind of press on these. These are actually one correct. We do the palm. The best job is to be a massage model. So practice on your models. And you'll get better every time. Practice makes perfect. So don't get frustrated. Just keep on going. If you feel discouraged at the beginning, do a little stretch. Okay, a little stretch this way. And now you will want to get a chair. Now, um, this chair is actually 
a little over health here, but it should have a different trail close by, so I'm going to use it. But if you can get just a little spool, that will probably be better. So now we're going to work on the neck. Some oil, and we're gonna. Now I'm putting my hands under where their traps are, and I'm just kind of like pulling towards myself. Now you can, it's okay, a little pressure just right on their neck, not on the side, not on the top. So remember, no pressure here or on the side. Leave that to the professionals for that work but you can put here, it's mostly safe. They don't have any medical conditions. And then you can kind of hold head with one arm and then massage with other and then put their head on your other hand and then massage with the other there underneath. So it's just kind of like kneading like this, like broad tires. Um, like you, you know, picking up something. And a lot of people have tension here and it feels nice. Do this as long as you like. Maybe not, you know, half an hour. Might take their next four. I mean, a little counterproductive overkill, but I feel like. 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, if you want, you can do their shoulders like this. A little traction there. Remember, working only in the back of the neck. And you can massage their head. Usually it's really nice to finish with hand massage. We don't need to add any oil to their head. Most people don't like their hair to get oily. But you can just rub it like this, you know, gentle, just kind of like, what do you call these, I don't know, like rakers, like you're raking, um, but you're not raking, you're kind of just circling. You can do their jaw like this, little circles, if they have TMJ headaches, this will be nice. Do a little cup of man like this till and circles, circles, very easy. They're gonna lose pressure. Can do like this and you can massage head as long as you like. Oh, I think Nicholas fell asleep. your ears that feel sometimes nice. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. The very last move I'll show like alleviate lower back is a nice this is what are you pulling? Stretch. A little bit of a wiggle. It's nice. Well don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, follow on Instagram, you later brilliant, and I hope to see you soon. Hope you're all well and have a brilliant day. Let me know how you did in the comments down below and what did they say about your massage. Thank you. Bye.